Hello underachievers. So today we're going to be talking about hair, and we're talking about my hair in particular because this is my video, and that's what we're doing today. So for some reason people on the internet care way too much about my hair. Like genuinely, people always ask me how I do my hair. People always try and tell me what to do with my hair, which is like really annoying. And at meetups and situations where I see you guys in person, a lot of people always ask to touch my hair, which I'm fine with, but I just, I don't understand. And I find this whole thing very odd because I feel like my hair is very average and if it's not average, it's like, it's like the low side, this is high, it's like the low side of average. I've always had messy hair, I've never really been a fan of it being neat, I just don't feel like it suits my personality or it suits me at all. I think I look like, I, I look like a weirdo if I've got neat hair. And I've also always had a fringe, if you're American, fringe means bangs. If there was a situation where I didn't have a fringe, it would be because my mum decided to chop it off. My mum was actually a hairdresser, like, a, like an actual pre a hairdresser, I'm not. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, today I'm going to talk about my hair. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair, because people always ask me that, and I'm just going to make a video about it. And I'm also going to answer some questions you guys had about my hair, because there's a lot of questions. <laughs> I'm also going to take the gum out of my mouth, because it's very difficult to talk with gum out of my mouth. I don't know. I don't know why I was doing it. So Kaylin asked, is it soft? Um, it has the potential to be soft. It's not not soft, it's not hard. Do you blow dry it or let it dry naturally? Um, I let my hair dry naturally. If I blow dry it, which I haven't done in years, it kind of just goes flat and then straight because the heat makes it go straight and I don't like it when it goes straight. Do you use conditioner and if so, which one? I don't use conditioner. I used to use herbal essences when I had long hair, but I don't now. <laughs> Sarah asked, do you wash it? Now. This is a question. So, I do wash my hair, but I only wash it with water. And I know some of you are going to be like, oh, that's so gross. It's not gross. I will explain why. So usually, the hair products that you get in the shop, they damage your hair. Sure, they make it feel a bit soft, but they damage your hair and they strip your hair of oils, strip your hair of natural oils, and you know, I don't want that. Shampoo and conditioner used to make my hair, like, just flat and straight, and I don't like that. So for like months, probably like a year now, I just haven't washed my hair with shampoo and conditioner. And no, it's not gross, you can wash your hair with water, you can get all the gross stuff out with water, but after a while of not using shampoo and conditioner, your hair gets used to not using it, so it replaces it with natural oils. And no, my hair is not greasy, it's actually very healthy hair. This is the healthiest my hair has ever been, and yeah, so shut up. My hair doesn't smell, my hair smells like hair, like it's not, it's not bad, honestly, believe me. I've, I've asked several people because I was self-conscious about it. Would you get curtains? Now this is a difficult one because sometimes I like how my hair looks when I have a middle parting, but when, when, <laughs> I'm scared to get it cut into curtains because I don't like it when it's like very neat into curtains. I kind of like messy curtains with like messy, Curtains. I don't really know how to explain it, but if I got curtains, it would have to just grow out and just be messy. It, it couldn't be like perfect, perfect curtains. What's the longest you've ever had it? Like down to here, I think, probably. I'll find a picture. Was it always this wavy? I think. As a kid, I had ringlets, and if I grew my hair out, I would have ringlets. And when I did grow my hair out, I had ringlets. It's like, I like it better when it's wavy. It's gotten wavier recently because, right, so pretty much I've been dyeing my hair for a while. I dyed my hair red in 2015 and 2016, and then I let the red grow out and it ended up being ginger. That was an awkward time. After that, in 2017, I started dyeing it dark brown, and I dyed it dark brown for about a year. And then after I had dark brown, I had it bleached for about a year. So, I haven't really had this natural hair colour in like years. And when my hair was dyed, it was obviously damaged, it was dry, so it wouldn't go wavy. When it was bleached, it was really unhealthy. Do you use products after you shower? No. Why eat floof? Because <laughs> it floof. Because I, because I floof it. When did it turn dark brown? So here's the thing, when I was born, I was blonde. And me and my brother, we were both like bleach blonde, we had very blonde hair. And then it started getting darker as I got older, and then it got a bit lighter one summer because I was in the sun a lot. So before I dyed my hair for the first time, it was like blonde. And then obviously I didn't know what my natural colour properly was because it, it was dyed and it was growing out, but it was a different colour than it was before I dyed it. And now it's like brown. So when did it turn dark brown? I'm not quite sure. How many times a week do you wash your hair? Uh, probably too much. So when I have a shower, my hair gets wet. Um, I don't always wash it, it's just wet. Um, but like I properly like scrub it like three times a week. But sometimes if my hair's looking rubbish, I put water in it because then it, it looks better afterwards. Butt hair. Yeah, recently I've been getting more butt hair and it really sucks. When did you first cut it short? Um, probably when I was like seven, six or seven, I think. Plans on dyeing it again? Um, I'm not sure yet. I did say I was going to dye it blonde this summer, but I'm kind of liking a natural look. And I like how it goes wavy sometimes and that doesn't happen with bleach, so... Maybe, but not anytime soon. Would you dye your hair pink? Now, the answer is no, but I did 
dye a tiny bit of it pink and I hated it. I didn't enjoy it. Why do you care about your hair so much? Buzz it to be hardcore. I have body image issues. What do you ask for when you go to the barbers? So pretty much I just ask for like, <laughs> I say keep the top long um, and then I have, I have a 0.5 I have a 0.5 fade up to something else. I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe 0.5 to 2 up here. If you want to get the same haircut as me, just show your barber a picture of my hair. What's a haircut you'd want but don't think would suit you or you'd be nervous to get? Again, curtains. Do you prefer white or like now? I'm still white. Why did you cut off the blonde? I cut off the blonde because my hair was so damaged and dead and flat and felt like straw. That's why I did it. Would you ever consider dyeing it rainbow? No, I would never do that. No. I don't want it. No. I, no. So now I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair, and it will be revolutionary, and you will be very impressed and surprised, and be like, Ooh, I wish I did that earlier and before. <laughs> this isn't my towel. We've been using this as a hand towel, and but my towel's in the wash, so we're just going to, you know. So you just... Towel dry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then you kind of just, I genuinely, I don't, I don't do my hair. I towel dried it too much. So. It's dripping on my pants. So yeah, after your hair is wet, just towel dry a bit. Leave it like that. Just let it dry. <laughs> my hair is dry. So there you go. You just leave it for a bit. And it dries in the air. If you're thinking of any hairstyles that might suit me, I'm open to suggestion because I'm bored of this already. But yeah, have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Here's a punch.